How's it, guys? I'm Ross from Splitting Image Taxidermy. I run the different pack facility. Uh, pretty much I am the first stop for all of your trophies that come into Splitting Image Taxidermy. It comes direct from your hunting farm to me over here and I'm the first point of contact. Once the Skull Squad has come and delivered on the farm, uh, me and my team we will go through everything making sure that what has been ticked on the register has been uh, actually received. From there your trophies will receive their unique uh, identification number for while it's in our system to ensure that at any point we can find and locate your trophy. Your skulls, once it is their turn to be cooked, we will bring them through and each skull is in individually and carefully loaded into the pot. Certain skulls cook a little bit faster than other skulls, uh, so we just make sure that the, the bigger skulls are generally closer to the bottom of the pot. We use a wood fire. Um, our, we found that it's the easiest way to cook our skulls. There are certain animals like your buffalo, blue wildebeest, hartebeest, that the horns do not come off of the skull. Uh, these animals are then wrapped in cellophane and then again over with sellotape just to protect them during the bleaching process to make sure that we bleach the bone and we keep your horns very well protected. These skulls will normally sit in peroxide for a couple of hours and from there they are then taken outside and dried in the sun to try and create the best white product. Your skins, once they have arrived on the property, some of them will still be wet. All of the wet skins will be taken outside every single day to dry out in the drying areas. Uh, once your skins are completed and dry, they will be brought into our scratching room. In the scratching room, um, we make sure that all of the excess salt is removed from it, um, and then we add our powders onto them, anything that, or all the things that preserve it and stop any insects or anything like that from being able to eat away at your skin. Uh, your skulls, once they're finished being bleached, we bring them inside and we wrap and protect them as best we can. Things like your nose bones can be very delicate. Uh, so we do what we can to make sure that they cannot break. These skulls are then sorted back into their orders individually and packed and sent through to Port Elizabeth to carry on with the process. So I started off in the wildlife industry. The plan was to become a professional hunter. I started off as a photographic safari guide. Uh, did it, had a whole bunch of fantastic German clients. From there it got a little bit monotonous for me so I ended up going over to the hunting industry and had a great opportunity that helped me get my foot in the door. It took me about two and a half, three years to be hunting full time. I was hunting full time for a single corporation um, and meeting some of the beautiful American clients that we do get that come to South Africa for their once in a lifetime hunting experiences. It is a fantastic job where you meet all sorts of people from all sorts of places, uh, people from all walks of life and you get to sit around the table with them. Through my hunting I came into contact with Douglas Cocroft, uh, the managing director of Splitting Image Taxidermy. And him and I developed a relationship, we became really good friends and the opportunity to run his dip and pack facility came up uh, and that's where I started. Uh, that's what got me to where I am today.